hey, we actually made it to the save point. And that was like the worst possible time I could have closed the game was when I did that, so... I tried to more or less do the same thing I did the first time on the 15th, but obviously that wasn't possible, but... Huh. I didn't get all the Iridium put away the way I wanted to last time, or the way I did last time, so... Because I actually ran out of coal, so I like have some of them in and some of them aren't. It's kind of weird. Uh, I caught mostly the same fish in the submarine. I'll try to stick those in here along with whatever else I caught in the lake. That, that, and that. We got a few more artifacts that I don't think we... Well, we got this, most of the same crap here, but uh... So as far as I know, the pearl you can just sell. It sells for 2500 There's really nothing else to do with it, so... So I'm just gonna do that. I'm gonna go ahead and sell the artifacts too, because I guess I'm not gonna do anything with those. Sell the coffee. Let's put the iridium ore away. So this fish goes down here. There's something in the mail here. I'm not sure what this is all about, but well, let's grab the iridium bars that we do have here, so we can just stick these in here too. Oh shoot, I never put the fish away. Oh my god, I'm running back and forth like a chicken with my head cut off here. Uh, any other fish? No, it doesn't look like it. <laughs> what am I doing with these canes, I wonder? <laughs> it's just for decoration or whatever. Here. There we go. That looks cool. Then we'll just put these ones right there. <laughs> okay, um, recycle this. And recycle that. Stick these in here, because whatever, I don't know what I'm doing with those anyway. Stick the coal, stick the geodes. Oh, I guess I can put in the iridium fireplace. I don't think that really does anything, but it just looks cooler. Or it's just a second fireplace, maybe. Put a fireplace in the baby's room? I don't know. Um, well... For now, I'm just gonna put it in here. Man, I didn't put the pine tar away or the stone. Okay, it's already 8.20 here and we haven't done the animals yet, so how about we check the fortune teller. Spirits are very displeased again, wow. Can't nothing make those people happy, huh? Alright, so what are we gonna do? More fishing today then? I don't know. Thanks for visiting Pierre's and closes your cashback rewards program rebate. Okay. Since when is that a thing? I have no idea. Might as well wait for this to finish up. Oh, that one might take longer. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Let's put away the fiddlehead risotto here. Yeah, I didn't see Kent out there. I went and visited the house and Vincent was in there like, Oh, I miss when my daddy was around and we used to play or something. Like, dude, well, what's he doing? Where's he going, I wonder? Okay, here's what I'm gonna do though. I wanted to try this. Because I've been hanging on to this forever. Dish of the Sea. Plus three fishing. And I can probably make a cork bobber. Let's see, out of wood, hardwood, and slime. That should be easy enough. Hardwood, wood, and slime. Let's see, how much is that? Five hardwood for one of those though? Wow, that's. Quite a bit. I'll just make one, it's not a big deal. And then we're gonna stick that on the fishing pole here. Should probably grab some bait while we're at it, because uh, I don't think the Lost Woods fish changes that much though, from one season to the next, it's kind of the same. I think, I mean, I don't know, I'm just guessing. Oh, Elliot, why, did, why weren't you there yesterday? Because I wasn't out this early yesterday, it's probably why. Alright, I'm just gonna find me a good spot here. You hoop. Actually, right over here is probably good. Alright, now I'm gonna eat this. And let me see if that actually... It does! Fishing 13. Holy sweet goddamn, my man. Let's do it. Max cast. What a way to start. Oh, yeah. Holy god, look how big my bar is. Oh, my god. That's the biggest bar I've ever seen. I can catch anything with this thing. Man, oh man. There's a wing cod. 
Even the link cards no match for me now. Jeez Louise, man. That was the biggest bar ever. That was ridiculous. Holy crap, man. Jeez, that thing is so long. It's, I don't know, I'm not gonna say it. Tiger Trout? Holy crap. don't see those too often, but I must have caught one at some point, because you have to have one for the community center, which we have finished. I'll just let my bar sit here. It takes up the whole thing, practically. Yeah, nothing too exciting in the river. Same old pike tiger trouts. Wing cods. Oh, 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 wait. We got something exciting here. Well, hang, hang in there. Hey, we, 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 woo! Boy. Ah. Ah! Dude! Like, even with the biggest bar, that thing jumps out of your thing. And you can't just move the bar up, you have to wait for it to accelerate, you know? So he's stuck outside of your zone for a really long time there. Ugh. It's almost like you have to memorize the pattern or something, and just, I don't know. I'm not gonna bother with that treasure chest, it's way up there on the high mark. Way up there on the high mark. Yeah, oh, high mark. <laughs> Didn't mean to say that. Way up there in the high zone, I mean, I don't know, the high area. What word could finish that sentence properly? Way up there in the high... Bars? I don't know. Way up there in the high area is probably the best way to say it. Hey, more bait. Yay. I hear doors opening and closing. Who knows where those people are going? Guess they're going to the party, that Lewis. Oh. Man, my armpit itches. <laughs> oh man, there's another one. Uh, Alright, I'm gonna get it. I still can't believe this bar. This is so ridiculous. Wow. So from now on... If I ever do any fishing, I think I'm going to make those same preparations there. Because I'll tell you what, man. Shane, old buddy, how's it going? How you been doing? Well, this reminds me of the old days when we used to stand here and fish and talk about steakhouses and whatever else. I don't know. I think it's not so much that I... Because I don't dislike the phrase steakhouse or the term or whatever. It's just that I dislike myself for using it. I mean, for example, okay, the thing that actually made me think about that was one day we were at Chugga's place and they were like, hey, where do you want to eat? And I said, uh, you know, and I was feeling like steak. I don't know, when I was, well, I mean, I think I mentioned before that when I was little, these places actually, like, had names, like Quincy's and Ryan's and stuff like that. But now it's like Longhorn Steakhouse, Outback Steakhouse, everything's a steakhouse in it. So, so I would say steakhouse, but, but I would hate myself for saying it because it felt too easy, too lazy. I'm still not sure whether maybe I should like hang on to these fish and turn them into fertilizer, or maybe just sell them. Because you can buy fertilizer, or you could just do that. It's a lot less time consuming, ultimately, than fishing is. They could fish for a whole day and come out with 20 fish, but you buy 20 fertilizer, even at 500 each, it'd be 10k. So you can make that much in iridium if you get far enough down in the mines. Of course, that's the question, though, if you get far enough down in the mines. Yeah, so I guess... Oh, man, fishing tackle's worn out. Let's see what that does to my bar. Yeah, I guess so it's like... When I, so when they asked me that night, you know, like, oh, oh, it's definitely smaller. When they asked me that night, like, what do you want to eat? And I said, the steakhouse. It's like... I said that because that's what they say, the, that's what they call it these days. <laughs> but that's not what I call it. That's not what I'm used to calling it. So I guess that's why I hated myself, because I felt like I was selling out by saying steakhouse, you know. Because that's not who I am. That's not what I'm... That's not what I've ever called it until, what, like 10 years ago. <laughs> oh man, there's so many people out here. So we're back at it again. What are we gonna do this time? Maybe more fishing? Let's see what you got, see if anything changes here. Big red cane, huh? 
or seasonal plants. I mean, I guess these like change, like they change with the seasons. I mean, he's peeing. I wonder how much money I can make if I just stood here and got coffee the whole time. Because you could get like what six coffees an hour. So you would get like a total of forty-two over the night or something. I'm not actually going to do that, though. I'm going to try fishing again. Alright, it begins again. Man, that looks like the door's opening to Super Mario Bros. 3 on the wizard. I was making a post about that on Reddit not too long ago. About that movie. I think the thread was something like, What scenes make you unexpectedly emotional? And I said the end of the wizard. Yeah, right. Because, I don't know. I mean, if you watch the Nostalgia Critic's review of The Wizard, when it gets to that part, like, he fake cries. But at the same time, it's like, why would you do that unless you were trying to make fun of people who do cry? But how do you know that people cry at that scene, you know? Because the only way you would know that is if you cried yourself at it. Because there's no way there's two people in the world that are within physical proximity of each other who have watched that movie together. It's because all my life I've tried to find people who are interested in the same thing as me, and only just now, being able to go to conventions, have I ever, you know, been able to do that. Because in real life, it's like they just don't exist or something. Everybody's just a zombie in real life, you know? We're talking about fishing there. <laughs> well, I'm talking about fishing, look what I'm doing. I don't know, we're talking about Shit. Should go over there and grab those bubbles over there. I don't know. I, I need to just, like, keep a notepad with me or something and just write down what I hear people talking about because it's, like, never, like, literally, it's never interesting. I don't know. Maybe it's interesting to them, and that's what matters, I know, but... Like, in the airport, I hear these people talking on cell phones, and every single time... It's the exact same conversation. It's like, oh, you want to, like, maximize your profits. Let's, uh, you know, let's check your assets and I'll get back with you in a couple days and we'll talk about your portfolio and see how you can diversify and monetize your assets and shit, you know? And it's like, we're gonna, like, you know, we're gonna make it all robust and scalable and we're gonna, like, you know, have synergy within the corporation and the company. And it's just like, how? Like, how? You can't possibly tell me that people actually think that's interesting. I mean, if that's just their job, then okay, fine, but... It's like, I don't know, I'd, I'd be surprised if they even knew what Pokemon Go was. And there goes the phone again. Blah, 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 blah. I'm selling this painting! I don't think so. You want to purchase some of my favorite items from this market? Okay, well, you talked me into it then. There. Now it's mine. Ha 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 ha. Find purple silk. You can't find that at Jojo Mart. No, you can't find crap at Jojo Mart. Because Jojo Mart sucks! Alright, anyway. So, can I go, like, watch the mermaid show again? Or. Oh my god. I actually have to watch the whole thing again? I kind of wonder if the, like, the six mermaids at the end surrounding them is, like, a reference to the Little Mermaid. Because, like, there's six of them surrounding the seashell that Ariel's supposed to come out of at the beginning, and then she doesn't show up, of course. And... Kind of reminds me of that. I wish I could remember, like, I need to go back and listen to that song again. Because, like, when I try to remember, like, what the melody even is of that part, when they're singing the words, Our Sister Ariel, like, there's... They're so crazy. I think I might just sell all this, actually. Because I already have these, like, really. Here, I'll sell the coffee, too. Yeah, I'll sell everything. It's like, at that point, the song has just completely lost all semblance of a melody. And it's just, Our Sister Ariel! Yeah, because they know that the song's gonna be interrupted, so it's like, why bother putting a melody to it at that point? I figure people who are watching will be distracted enough by the surprise that they won't think, Oh, there was no melody there just now. It's just 
just random screaming notes or something. I don't know. Well, not screaming, but like, you know. I don't know. Uh, well, well it's 140. I guess I better get to bed. Hey, more ancient wine. Hell yeah. All right. No, I don't want it. Here, put it on the sword or something. Oh, that's just doing that. Okay, just go to bed. Go to bed. More big money for us there. Pickle pumpkins coming through with the 10,000 there. Got the iridium bars and gold bars coming in. Well, I did pull a bunch of gold bars out to sell. I don't know. I guess I'm just getting anxious. Anxious to get to that 2 million. I mean, we are getting there now. We're at, what, 1.27? Yeah. Got that right, man. When this wine is ready, though, man, it's like nothing you've ever seen. Boop, 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 boop. Boop, boop, boop. Grab some more ancient poots here. Ancient poots. And stick them in, stick them in. Stick them in, stick them in, 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 that song, oh my god. I don't know, I'm kind of tempted to maybe just go ahead and sell the wine. So we're only going to have so much space for casks, right? You know. And those are going to take like two seasons, which I don't even know if I'm playing for that far into it. But on the other hand, at least this would get us... Closer. I mean, you're putting it in for two seasons just to double its value. Like, at that point, you know, you're gonna... I'm actually gonna drop these in here. So I don't have to make casks because I'm lazy. Maybe we'll make casks on the next round, but... I mean, as it is, if we look down here right now... It's just about full. Oh, these are up to Gold Star now. Hell yeah. Well, I got a few empty casks over here. But, I mean, best case scenario, you're going to put two more right there, maybe two more down here. I mean, I could rearrange these if I wanted to, to get a better setup. But, there's only so much optimization you can do. I put two right here, and then two right here, and then one right there. So you could probably put, like, well, I could put, like, one every other square here in this column. You could probably fit another 15 casks or so in there. I suppose, you know... So I don't have to do that later. Maybe I should just go ahead and make them now. Because I still don't really have any plans for all this, you know. Okay, I just made 12 of them. I think that's 12. It might be 13. I don't know. So I'm just going to stick it on right here. Right there. 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 We need to make sure we can get to all these, though, is the thing. I can't put it there. Put it there. Well, it wouldn't be every other column, it'd be like every two, like this. Because you only need one space to get to the ones above and below it. Whoops. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Alright, we'll put one right there. Okay, so we still have room for like two or three more here. I don't know, I feel like I should go ahead and finish this. Now that I've started it, I want to go ahead and finish it. It's like, I don't want it to be too crowded, you know, it's like we already... <laughs> it's a little ridiculous here. Okay, so one right there. One right there, and then one right there. See that? Oh, hell. There, I see a space. I can put one right there. Oh my god, this basement is just jacked. Just jacked beyond all comparison. I have, like, one that's not being used right here. Yeah, we definitely got room for 27. Well, one, two, three. I'm not going to sit here and count them right now. Whatever. Oh, actually, I could have put two right here. Oh, it doesn't matter. We're done. I mean, see, what I could do, though, is I could rearrange these down here, put these up against the wall, and then have... Oh, but there's wine in them right now, so I'm not going to mess with it. It, it won't be worth it, ultimately, if, even if I did want to rearrange them. It just wouldn't be worth it. So let me go do the animals, baby. Of course, watch me look at the spirits, and now it's going to say they're very happy. <laughs> we should look and see, though. You know, somewhat mildly perturbed. I mean, if you had to pick three days in a row to be like that, these are the three days to do it. Oh, I don't have anything to smell, so I'm running. I'm, like, out of stuff. I could smelt some iron. Now, see, the reason you would want to smelt iron, though, to iron bars, would be to make mega bombs. But if I'm being honest, I don't think mega bombs are really that much better than regular bombs. And as far as, you know, how much iron ore it takes to make one, I think you're a lot better off with just making regular bombs. I could be way off on that, though. Maybe the mega bombs really are, like, super, super good or something. 
I guess that little bit of extra circumference definitely doesn't hurt. Man, that copper is already done just in the time it took me to make that fish. Wow, it's trash, 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 huh? Well, put the uh, Sonic 06 CDs in there. Grab these and get some more copper. Blue booty boot, we're just spending all day on the farm here, aren't we? I guess we haven't been hoeing in a while. We could do that. I mean, as far as money makers go, you can't get much better. I mean, you can. Well, I should have looked closer at that fish that I sold to see how much that made. But I imagine it couldn't have been that much, and fishing, to be honest, is not the most scintillating way to spend your time. I mean, just riding around like this, though. You guys hanging out here in the snow like this? I wish I had your resilience, I tell ya. I've never taken a train ride before. Like a really long one, you know, to go somewhere. I bet that's really weird. Like you're just sitting there, wondering. Watching the world go by, you know. Or in the words of John Mayer, waiting on the world to change. Which has the exact same melody as that stupid Van Morrison song where he's like, Mama said there'd be days like this. I mean, there's that oldie, Mama said there'd be days like this, but in the oldie, they're talking about bad days. In the Van Morrison song, it's talking about good days. Like, oh, that's original. Take something where you would expect it to be bad and make it good. It's just dumb, man. I'm not finding anything out here. I think somewhat mildly perturbed is even worse than mildly per er, perturbed, whatever. Oh, man, look at this. How often do you get to see this, huh? Maybe it'll stick around. Yeah, let's watch the train. Why not? You never get to see this. Chugga 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 choo choo. I'm digging up stuff. Can I like interact with it? No, probably not. You probably don't want to do that. The night market is now open. Again. Tell you what, man. It's cool, yo. It's cool, it is so darn cool, too. Even more cool than Mike Tyson's punch out, punch out, punch out, punch out, punch <laughs> You guys just keep going to the bar and live your groundhog day. I'm actually gonna go do something exciting. Yeah, look at all my homies. My free will homies. So I assume this is all pretty much the same here. Yeah, seems to be. We could do the fishing again. Oh, you guys are out here. This is one of the newer traditions in Pelican Town, but we've taken to it rather quickly, haven't we, George? I'm just here for the free coffee, you tell that asshole. I mean, who is the asshole? I'm halfway tempted to just stand here and do this. That P sound, though. Trees! No, I'm okay. Oh, hi. Did I... Never check you? No, I checked you because I've seen those hats. Oh, you're the seeds, dude. And the Iridium Fireplace, dude. Oh, uh, well. Cone hat. I have no idea. This was cheaper the other night, wasn't it? I think it was. I mean, I'm assuming that's like a hat for your horse, which in that case, whatever. I'll take it. Never get another chance to get that, so... I'm not gonna do the mermaid thing again, that's... Uh. Well, I'll tell you what. I think coffee's gonna be uh, our thing here tonight. Man, I'm not actually doing this. This is ridiculous. But I think I am. Let's just try to see how much money we make for it. What if I like go back and forth between this and hoeing the land? I would never get up there fast enough though. I would miss out on one ten second increment. 
Or ten minutes, rather. Unless I drank the coffee, then maybe I'd get up there fast enough, but... Now it's 810. Give me some more of that coffee. I'm just gonna stand here. I'm gonna stand here with the old folks and we're gonna drink. That's right. We're all here for the free coffee, aren't we? All three of us. Us caffeine lovers. We love it. I've never been much of a coffee drinker, to be honest. It's like, if it's there, I'll drink it. I do like it. I've just never made it a habit to drink it, I guess. I don't know. But if I do drink it, I always take cream and sugar. Yeah, I like that French vanilla stuff when that first came out. Or maybe maybe that was always a thing, but I don't remember it being a thing until like 1993. But man, when that stuff came out, that coffee mate, you put it in your coffee, man, that stuff was good. Oh, French vanilla anything is pretty baller. French vanilla ice cream is pretty good too. Did I ever tell you guys I kind of started getting into ice cream a little bit in the last few months? Because when mom passed away, she left behind a couple of boxes of it in the freezer. Because she had it all the time. She loved it. She would just put some in a bowl and put Hershey's syrup over it. Just like, yum. You know. And you might say, oh, that's not very healthy, you know. But it's like, well, she had cancer. She was going to eat anything to try to keep her weight up. So, um... Smells great, doesn't it? Yeah, it sure does. Um, anyway. Well, she left that ice cream behind, and me and Les don't exactly get into ice cream that much. But I tried some of it one night. And I put some chocolate syrup on it, and let me tell you, it was good. So, I mean, here it is. 12.40, 12.50 in the morning, about to be. He's still handing it out. He's gotta be getting low there. So 35 seems like a nice round number. There goes the crow. I tell you, let's get out of here. Booyah! Can't wait to see how much money we made for all that. I can't believe I actually did that. I mean, we're gonna have a lot to look at on that cell screen when we go into bed. Oh. When we go into bed. Oh no! Please don't. <gasps> please no! Please 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 please. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please please please. Thank you. Thank you. <sighs> Whew. That was close. Man, I need to shave. I keep forgetting to shave, man. Alright, let's see. Coffee. 35 cups of coffee. 5,000 gold. I guess that's not too bad. It's more than three diamonds is worth. More than 11 gold bars. I mean, shoot. Oh, I saw that ancient fruit wine. There you go. 44,000 for that. There you go, another 60,000. <laughs> Jeez, what I wouldn't have given to make 60000 in a day when I first started. 